students in present video i'm going to explain about 12th problem from consignment topic i'm making this video for degree students previous videos links are available in the description box let us see the question first anand consigned goods to ram costing 20000 rupees but invoice rate 25000 rupees anand paid 1000 rupees for freight ram sold 80% of the goods for 26000 rupees he spent 2000 for selling expenses he is entitled to a commission of 10% on sales he sent a check for the amount due to anand prepare consignment account this is the question let us see the solution for this important points of this problem i have written on the board anand and ram are involved in consignment business anand is consignor ram is consignee anand sent goods to ram on consignment basis these goods the cost price is 20000 invoice price is 25000 so recollect previous problems from eighth problem onwards he is giving invoice price no? in eighth problem how that invoice price related information is given in the form of quantity 100 bicycles were sent by consignor one bicycle cost price is 150 invoice price is 200 in ninth problem 2500 clocks were sent by consignor one clock invoice price is given 75 rupees and how that invoice price is fixed invoice price is 25% above cost price in that manner he has given invoice price related information come to 10th problem cost price is 1 lakh rupees means quantity is not given here total value is given and invoice price is 25% profit above cost price recollect 11th problem 100 cases of medicines were sent by consignor to consignee cost price of these 100 cases of medicines is 7500 and invoice price is 25% profit on sale in 10th problem 25% profit on cost price is given in 11th problem 25% of profit on sale is given observe this problem 12th problem here how he is giving this information cost price of total goods 20000 he is not giving the quantity direct amount is given invoice price of total goods 25000 so like 10th and 11th problem ninth problem he is not giving percentage like eighth problem he is not giving quantity also so total goods cost price is given total goods invoice price is given next to send these goods consignor incurred 1000 rupees expenditure consignee is able to sell 80% of these goods for 26000 rupees so 20% is unsold stock now to sell these goods consignee incurred expenses 2000 selling expenses these are then his commission is 10% on sale and for the due amount consignee has sent one check to consignor so with this information he is asking us to prepare consignment account who prepares consignment account consignor therefore heading is ledger of anand consignor in his books actually speaking we have to prepare three accounts consignment account consignee account ram account third one goods sent on consignment account but in present problem only consignment account he asked first what happened consignor sent goods to consignee on consignment basis so when goods are sent on consignment in consignor's books entry is consignment account data to goods sent on consignment account in previous problems i explained how these entries come so debit side to goods are sent on consignment account here total goods of cost price is given total goods invoice price is given when invoice price is given in the question here invoice price only we should write now 25000 rupees no need of any calculations next consignor's expenditure 1000 rupees consignment account is a nominal account so nominal account rule debit or expenses and losses credit or incomes and gains So consignment expenditure, debit side we should write. Consignor spent this expenditure. No? So write down to bank account. Means entry is consignment account data to bank account. Next sales twenty six thousand rupees. 
For consignment business, sale is income. Credit said we should write. Consign is sold now. So write down his name. By RAM account. Means entry for sale is RAM account data to consignment account. Next, to sell these goods, consign income 2000 rupees selling expenditure. Expenditure demonstrated we should write now. 2000 rupees. Consign income, therefore write down his name. To RAM account. So for consignee's expenses entry is consignment account data to RAM account. Next, consignee's commission. For consignment business, this commission is expenditure. Debit said only we should write. To RAM we have to pay no. So write down his name. To RAM account. Means for commission also same entry. Consignment account data to RAM account. On sales, 10% commission we should calculate. 2600 everything we are written finally come to unsold stock value calculation consign or send goods for 25000 rupees to consign consign is sold 80% of the goods so 20% is unsold that 20% value we should calculate now working notes one unsold stock value calculation invoice price of unsold stock we know total goods invoice price 25,000 rupees. Unsold stock is 20%. So 25,000 into 20% is equal to 5,000 rupees. This is unsold stock invoice price. To this, proportionate direct expenses of consignor and consignor we should add. Consignor, all expenses are direct expenses, no? 1,000 rupees. But 1,000 rupees paid on total goods. We are calculating unsold stock value. So, unsold stock related expenses only we should take here. On total goods, expenditure is 1000. On 20%, how much? So, 1000 into 20%, 200 rupees. Similarly, proportionate direct expenses of RAM also we should consider here. See, consign is expenditure 2000 rupees, selling expenditure. Selling expenditure is indirect expenditure because on same goods again and again consignee incurs this expenditure therefore selling expenditure we should not consider so total 5200 unsold stock on credit side we should write now for that write down by consignment stock account means entry is consignment stock account data to consignment account then loading we have to adjust see this amount Cost price we should write no 20,000, but we wrote 25,000 invoice price. You are preparing consignment account to know the profit or loss in consignment business. So, if you want to know the correct profit, correct values only we should take. Correct value is cost price 20,000, not 25,000. So, how much extra we wrote here 5,000 rupees? That 5,000 is known as loading. That 5,000, if you cancel, then only correct profit comes. So how to cancel that 5,000? So by writing on credit side. 5,000 rupees on credit side. Entry is reverse entry. For 25,000, what is the general entry? Consignment account data to goods and on consignment account. For loading entry is goods and on consignment account data to consignment account. As consignment account is credited, credit side we should post by debit account name. Goods sent on consignment account. Next, to come to loading in unsold stock. If you observe unsold stock calculation, by taking invoice price, we calculated, which is wrong. Here also, we need cost price only. No? So, here also, in unsold stock also, there is loading. That loading, if you want to cancel, you have to write on debit side. What to write in particular column? To consignment stock reserve account. In working notes, we will calculate this. Second working notes, loading in unsold stock. See, total goods invoice price is 25,000. Then, loading in 25,000 is 5,000. If invoice price of total goods is 25,000, then loading in that invoice price is 5,000. No? So, we want unsold stock related loading. Therefore, if invoice price of unsold stock 5,000, then loading in that unsold stock is how much? How this 5000 came? 
total goods invoice price 25000 and unsold stock invoice price we need unsold stock is 20% so 20% of 25000 20 by 100 is equal to 5000 rupees so unsold stock invoice price if 5000 then loading in that invoice price is how much that is the question so 5000 divided by 25000 into 5000 is equal to 1000 rupees so in unsold stock loading is 1000 so this 1000 we should cancel then only correct profit in consignment comes so that 1000 rupees if you write on debit side then this 1000 in 5200 1000 both will get cancelled then remaining amount is 4200 cost price of unsold stock which is the correct value thus loading in goods sent on consignment loading in unsold stock we have to adjust finally we have to calculate the profit or loss in consignment business so find out the totals of two sets credit total is 36200 debit column total 31600 difference is 4600 credit side we wrote incomes debit side expenses income is more than expenditure so answer is profit debit total is less now write down on debit side 4600 for this you have to write to profit and loss account so entry is consignment account net to profit and loss account two sides put the highest total 36200 rupees credit side also same so this is the end of present video hope this video is helpful to you thank you